All right, guys, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Didn't think Luffy would die in episode 110 of One Piece, but here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I know me. Episode 111 and 112 of our One Piece watch today. Again, and the last one we ended in a very, uh, we'll say serious situation. Luffy finally got the showdown he wanted with Crocodile, and I don't think it went nearly as well as he had planned. And the episode with him being just stabbed through the chest with Crocodile's hook. Aside from that, the rest of the battle didn't even go well because he just tried punching through him and he just turned to sand. So with that being said, we're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, do drop a sub and hit that big wood bell so as any future episodes. Let's hop into these. It's getting harder and harder to not look at titles. It's horrible. I'm wearing the headband. Putting it on. About to sweat. I can feel it. Ugh. Do I look good? <gasps> oh, a miracle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crocodile did, did send one. Oh, his hands are so dry. Don't tell me he just gets knocked out. That'd be heartbreaking. Oh, okay, good. Yuba still lives. Yuba will die. Oh, yeah, he said it would swirl all the way there and get so big even he couldn't control it. Is that blood censored? It looks purplish. It is. Bro, look at his face. Oh, it's... Oh, did he stab through the canteen? Oh, oh damn, actually, that caused him pain, though. Bro thought he was already dead. Jeez. I mean, I would too. No, the water. I want to know how he got that, that scar. You want to know how I got these scars? I want to know how he got that. That's a clean cut, man. Plus, it's just for style. Jeez, bro. It's just burying him alive. No. Bro said no big deal. He's seen hell and back. He's not even scared. I want things to be resolved just for this old man, dude. That looks like it's Yuba's end. Everybody's headed to, uh, what was it, Aliburna? Same place. <laughs> Chopper's so cute. <laughs> oh, he's doing... <laughs> he's... What, would, what would you call that? Camel ups? Flashes lifts. Alliteration. I mean, it's a warlord, dude. I mean, why is Vivi scared or shocked? Like, she knows the power crocodile holds. Guys. Boss head. The vice captain. I gotta take charge. <laughs> He's like shocked. Vivi's taking charge before him. <laughs> Everybody has to keep checking each other. Chopper's the most stable one here. Dude, it'll take Luffy a million years to get to Alabarna, and he's buried. Is he even gonna be there for like the final showdown here? Ben's laying in the dirt and dying. Oh my gosh. What if Smoker finds him along the way? That would be beautiful. My man's questioning everything he knows right now after letting Luffy go. Oh. Maybe he doesn't think he's prepared to do what he needs to do here anymore. Damn. It's nothing he can stop by himself. It's like he wants no part of this anymore because he's questioning so many things. Oh, man. It's natural that, that these would be the orders, though. So they were the target all along. Crocodile is still a warlord. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like it would take a minute to swim across. You have no other options, bro. Pincer's good. <laughs> no shot. No shot. Oh my gosh. This is not actually... What, do they want enough momentum to just, like, throw themselves as far as possible? Or do you th they think the crab's just gonna keep going? Oh my god, that boy moving! He's so horny, bro! It is straight up walking on, running, sprinting, moving on water. Oh, no, there he goes. Gave it his best shot. Got much further than I expected. Does he just drown? Is he okay? They went really far. Oh. Wait. Oh, there he goes. What's up? Why are you so negative, bro? Oh. Oh. What's it called? Uh, sea Lord? War? No, Warlords. Warlord. What? What are they called? Sea King. At least I'm pretty sure that's a Sea King. You don't have to explain that. What's <laughs> up? Like, why are you saying this right now? What is happening? Oh! Let's go! The return! 
turn. Hell yeah. And they get a trip across. Oh, they straight up dragging the catfish by the whiskers. So useful. So helpful. Well, you send Vivi 1 million percent and just send anybody else. I think Vivi, one other person, and Chopper, if he's small, had options. He might as well start going. Oh, no. Oh, wait, is this a good thing? Got him! Let's go! Supersonic Duck Squadron? Oh, my gosh! He brought the whole squad! Kadu just coming in clutch once again. Added to his resume of endless accomplishments. It is incredible how this bird is keeping this show together. Keeping the entire plot line together. There's no way he's just hungry right now. Words cut deep. Man's just gonna slowly dig himself out by bouncing. Oh no, it's getting worse. Oh. Who that? Wait, that's Miss All Sunday! Dude, what is her deal? She's saving him after letting them go, too. I don't understand. He would have straight up died. D, the will of D. The mystery grows deeper. She's just wheezing, dying as she asks these questions. What is she doing again? She sprouts like body part? Oh. Oh. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Give it up. Courageous knight. True, he does owe it to Luffy. Yeah, but her intrigue for him having the the name D or Monkey D Luffy was enough for him to literally save his life when he's trying to kill Crocodile. Her mans. No match for her. Probably no match for Crocodile either, brother. I don't think anybody's a match for Crocodile right now. He's going to ask for meat. There you go. I feel so bad for Cobra, bro. Man's name just struck right through the dirt. It all goes down at Alubarna. Oh, calm before the storm. Oh, they are prepping. Two million. A country that will destroy itself. Okay, at least he's not quick to believe it. I mean, like this, they've served him for so long. Why would he just do that all of a sudden? These guys are really holding it down right now. We haven't even gotten a look at Cobra because, uh, like, Miss Christmas and the other guy kidnapped him, and we didn't get to see that, which kind of surprises me. Oh, speak of the devil. They're the ones that kidnapped him, right? Oh, he's just chilling right there, yeah. I want to see that guy fight. He's got like a giant looking weapon. Dang, dude, they roughed him up too. You're so humble. I cannot stand her, bro. I really can't. <laughs> they can't prevent the fighting though. You got a narrator intercut. Oh man, it's too late. Uh, those who enjoy it. The squadron pulling up! It's all the sides of the war. There are a lot of sides, yeah. The Navy too, everybody, bro. There's so many like moving pieces to this. So stressful, not everybody knowing the full picture. No way! He's alive! My God! How? Okay, it literally has to have been the work of Miss All Sunday. The fact that she saved Luffy and has sort of been on kind of their side this whole time, especially when she landed on their ship and then just left. This has to be because of this ship blew up. I'm so glad he's alive though. He's so nice. All right, episode 112. Let's get it. Are you okay? Meat. In your shape? <laughs> I think you need a doctor too, brother. <laughs> He's like, no! His arm! <laughs> that dried up old man. Luffy's so straightforward. Who are you, me? Come on, Luffy. I <laughs> like how his, his arm stretches back like it's retractable. Ah, a new day dawns. I feel kind of bad for Koza. He's probably the one like most misinformed in this entire thing. I mean him and his army, but still.
Bro, one of them looks so scared. Now look at them run in sync with each other. The supersonic duck squadron does not falter. Oh no. Oh no. Bon Clay and crew are involved too. <laughs> Dude, as weird as he is, like, I don't I don't know. I have to like Bon Clay. Miss Christmas, ah, uh, not as much. I want to see Mr. One fight, bro. That dude's a unit. I can see he has a tiny bit already. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> we don't have to do anything. Straightforward, man. Dude, like that weapon on his back looks insane. As goofy as this entire group is, they're all very strong. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be the Duck Squadron versus versus the Baroque agents. Oh shoot, this could be fire. This will be fire. Mr. Prince! And again, they're wearing those armbands so that if Von Clay tries to trick them, they know who's who. Oh, there's Vivi. I'm guessing she's on Karu. They don't know who that that's her bird, I don't think. How rude of them. I thought you like big things. It's a, wait, what? He shoots baseballs? Is it ex explosive baseballs? Is that what's on his back? Well, they are supersonic. At least they came into this with a plan, seemingly. They want to clear things up for battle. Oh, there's Usopp. Bro, just stuck his hand out! Oh, it's just a distraction. <laughs> I think that's Vivi, because that's uh, whoever's on Kadu. <laughs> Poor Bon Clay. Things are getting spicy. <laughs> no, wait, you idiot! It's the Supersonic Dog Squadron! You know, the one! I think it's just a part of, like, the royal family and whatnot. They're just running, bro. I mean, even we don't know who's on who or who is where. Might set up some fights and whatnot, though. Are they trying to emulate Vivi's voice? They are emulating her voice. <laughs> he tried his best. Oh, there's going to be an inevitable battles everywhere. The one was a, ba a backward, like, baseball cap. Oh, shoot. It's going down, baby. Wait, where's Vivi? Wait, is one of them lashes? Vivi came in behind. Hell yeah. They all cause distractions, man. Feels good. Okay, so Kadu wasn't part of that group. I thought I saw him. Hell yeah. Oh, she's Like I said, she's the one that can clear things up. Yeah, she's able to get to him. I forgot like forever ago, he set that precedent. Like if that happens, then his plan falls apart. If she fills him in on everything. But then again, how much will Koza even trust her at this point? Dude, it's setting up so many fights! I love this. He's kind of a weird wild card in all of this, too. The fact that he's alive. I know he's not the most important character in the world, but still. Was Vivi's right-hand man. Also, it'll make her feel a lot better if he's alive. She's just standing there, waiting. Wow. Nah, he stands his ground with Princess Vivi. God, dude. Takes a lot of guts to stand there. She knows she has to, though. He's gonna see her. Her hair is so recognizable, too. What if she picked the wrong entrance? <laughs> I hope he sees her. I don't know if they'll hear you. There's, like, dark and light on both sides of her. No, are they gonna run right past her? Oh, man, Cobra just has to hear it. He sees her. Wait, what was the explosion? What was the explosion? Oh, somebody set it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who was it? Who fired? Yeah. Brother. Oh, my God. His hand slipped and now people just die. Ah, well, that, no, that, never mind. That explains it. It didn't slip. No, I mean, it could have slipped just intentionally. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So close, dude. One singular cannonball disrupted everything. Poor Vivi. She just has to witness it happen. He hears her. We find her, though. Probably just thinks it's in his head. Yeah, because, like, up until now, it's all felt like that. Like, he doesn't... He's always been kind of conflicted on this. Oh, damn. Right past her. 
Oh no. He's not he's not hearing a single thing beyond this. He's gonna get trampled. Two million men? Oh no. It all could have been avoided, man. This is exactly what Crocodile wants. As soon as one Yep, there it goes. So as soon as one's fired, it's it's inevitable now. So it begins. So damn tragic, bro. Oh, dude. This is so sad. It's all staged, all set up. Kanu! Bro! He protected her. Is he just knocked out? Please? Please don't tell me he's dead. That is literally the best bird. Oh my goodness. Goddamn MVP. Give this bird a medal of honor. Oh my goodness. And now she just watches as the city's burned. Luffy never knows. God, who's up to the rescue? Oh my goodness. Holy. He's done plenty. I think he'll be okay, right? What? What is she thinking? His name's Kadu. What? I think she means like... Wait, what? Wait, is that not... Wait, what? Oh, the wrong Usopp is with... Oh. Oh, no. Wait. That is... Wait. He has the band, too. Am I dumb? Oh, no. So they did... They copied the, the band? The Usopp that came to rescue her isn't Usopp. Because yeah, he's so... He's so brave. That's why I was so shocked that he, like, came rolling up on a horse. So it does copy the band. Well, at least she realized it. Would have walked right into his trap. You don't know Usopp, brother. Not even close. How did he know? I guess he saw them. Maybe. Well, things went from bad to worse as quickly as it possibly could have. Vivi one step away from stopping the entire rebel army from charging. Again, I think it honestly, it had a better chance of going well if she would have been able to have a conversation with Koza, but how damn tragic that she couldn't have. And now she has to just, like she's forced to just sit and watch as Alubarna is just like, blood is spilled everywhere. As soon as that first can was fired and, and someone died, like that was it. Like it was, it was way too late and it even cut the crocodile laughing knowing that the, like his plan has worked this is it his plan was for them to tear each other apart that's what's happening right now he wants as much bloodshed as possible so i'm hoping in the next two we'll see maybe some fights between our crew and the agents and maybe vivi's next steps beyond getting past one clay but guys this has been it for episodes 111 and 112 or a one piece watch through do drop a sub on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one space space